Hey guys, welcome to the next episode. Today we are going to talk about layer 2 solutions. So let's start. Vitalik Buterin mentioned that rollups are the best solution of solving Ethereum scalability issues. When it comes to layer 2 solutions that could solve scalability issues of Ethereum mainnet, there are two approaches. First of them is grouped under the name of ZK rollups and the other one is known as optimistic rollups. In this video I am going to focus mostly on optimistic rollups and compare a few of them to show you their similarities and differences. So let's start. In today's video I am going to focus on three solutions that could be grouped as optimistic rollups but over time each one of them evolved in a way that now they are all separate products with only a few similarities. Those projects are Arbitrum, Matis DAO and Optimis. Before we move to comparison, let's check out their websites and see what their projects are about. As we can see on the website of Arbitrum, uh, it says that uh, solve scaling without compromise. Next generation layer 2 for Ethereum dApps. Use your favorite tools and scale your dApp at the lowest cost. So as we can see this is one of the layer 2 scaling solutions. Let's skip to the next one which is Matis. Uh, Matis says on their website We are helping people create their own decentralized business on blockchain. Our layer 2 dApp on Matis alpha testnet is now live. So as you can see, they already have a running alpha testnet uh, on Matis. And now let's move to the next one, Optimism. So on the main website of Optimism, we can read that Optimism is the new scalability stack for Ethereum, instant transactions and scalable smart contracts. So as you can see, all three of those solutions try to solve Ethereum scalability issues. And now let's start with similarities between Matis, Arbitrum and Optimism rollup solutions. These three solutions give an Ethereum-like experience. Uh, you will be able to use it with a Metamask and other popular wallets in the future. If you are familiar with the Ethereum mainnet, then you will hardly feel the difference when using Matis, Arbitrum or Optimism. Each of these solutions also has an increased number of transactions per second compared to Ethereum network and that results in significantly lower gas cost on layer 2 than on layer 1. When we are looking at similarities, let's take a look at the honest watchtower assumption. What exactly is watchtower? Watchtowers are basically full nodes that are being incentivized to validate the chain and transactions. If they detect an illegal action, they have a specified amount of time called a challenge period to submit proof of the fraud to layer 1 smart contract. So basically, we assume that the watchtower is honest and if it detects a fraud attempt, it will report it by submitting the proof to layer 1 smart contract and therefore the illegal action will be prevented. So Matis, Arbitrum and Optimism all use the honest watchtower assumption in their layer 2 solutions. And now let's move to the next point which is mass exit assumption. Mass exit assumption refers to the ability of all users to exit a layer 2 chain. So when a lot of users need to move their assets from layer 2 back to layer 1, there will be throughput issues making the mass exit a slow process. All three of the compared solutions allow mass exit to occur, but due to the efficiency in Matis layer 2 design, such as the DAX being on separate chains, the scale of such a mass exit is much smaller compared to Arbitrum or Optimism. When it comes to similarities, that would be it. Now let's take a look at the differences of these layer 2 solutions. Let's start with validation time. So what is validation time? Validation time is the time needed for the settling of transactions from a layer 2 chain to the underlying layer 1 chain. And this time could be different for different layer 2 solutions. During my research I have learned that validation time for optimism is around 7 days, for Arbitrum it's a few days time, while for Matis validation time is only a few hours. So you may wonder, 
why is there such a huge difference between Matis, Optimism and Arbitrum? In general, a longer validation time is put in place for security reasons. A longer validation time equals to more security. But Matis created their own unique validation mechanism and managed to cut the validation time to hours without compromising security. I would say that it's quite an impressive result comparing it to other layer 2 solutions. The next thing I would like to cover is IPFS. So what exactly is IPFS and which of the layer 2 solutions have it integrated? IPFS stands for Interplanetary File System and it is a protocol that allows users to store and share data in a distributed file system. So basically, you can store and access files, applications, uh, websites and data via IPFS. Between Arbitrum, Optimism and Matis, only one of them have IPFS integrated in their protocol. And that's Matis. Virtual Machines When it comes to virtual machines, or in short VMs, both Arbitrum and Optimism use only one VM, while Matis uses multiple VMs, in short MVM. In Matis, one DAC can have multiple VMs assigned to it, based on the needs of the DAC and number of operations. So why does it matter if you use one or multiple virtual machines? Well, when you use only one virtual machine, bottlenecks could occur. So using multiple virtual machines is a more decentralized solution that at the same time solves bottleneck problems. Support of the microservice framework. The microservice framework basically means that anyone can extend the functionality of the DAC by easily plugging in different smart contracts, uh, mechanisms or tools in order to build applications on top of that DAC. So, for example, you could build your own dApps on top of it, you can attach freelancer models, uh, mint and trade NFTs, uh, create your own token on layer 2, or perform fundraising for your own projects. So all of this mentioned above is under the microservice framework. And from the solutions we compared today, only Matis supports the microservice framework. Unfortunately, both Arbitrum and Optimism at the moment do not support it. So to summarize what I've covered today, Matis, Arbitrum and Optimism all originated as layer 2 solutions and are trying to solve the Ethereum scalability issues. All three of them originated as optimistic rollup solutions to evolve into independent products. Validation time is different for each one of them. Optimism has the slowest validation time of 7 days, Arbitrum few days and Matis is the fastest with the validation time of few hours. All of them have Ethereum-like experience, uh, they all have honest watchtower assumption and mass exit assumption. Arbitrum and Optimism use single virtual machine, while Matis use multiple virtual machines, which increases decentralization and scalability. As of today, only Matis integrated IPFS and support for microservice framework. And when it comes to comparing Matis, Arbitrum and Optimism, that would be it for today. Please let me know in the comments which of these layer 2 solutions is the best in your opinion. Is it Arbitrum, Matis or Optimism? Remember to hit thumbs up, subscribe our channel and share this video with your friends. Thanks for watching.